UCL is at the forefront of AI research. We have the flexibility to think in different ways to solve really important problems, grand challenges like Alzheimer's disease. AI is already impacting the dementia research. Now, for the past probably six months or a year, everything has completely changed. I absolutely did not ever imagine that anything of this sort will happen in my lifetime. Alzheimer's disease, like any disease, it's attacking your body before you know it. You only realize that something's going wrong when things start to happen and you get some symptoms like some memory problems. So that's when you go to the doctor. Alzheimer's has a silent period that could be anywhere from 10 years to 30 years long. So just identifying people who have the disease early enough to make a difference is super challenging. It's not uncommon that even today, the only way how to diagnose the actual accurate cause of the neurodegenerative disease is on brain examination when the patient already has passed away. Queen Square Brain Bank is one of the largest brain banks in the world. A collection of brain tissues from patients with a range of dementias and range of movement disorders. So the Retail Isla Western uh, Brain Platform we are developing right now is AI-driven modeling so that we can identify these specific disease groups in living patients. With no question will hugely transform how we understand diseases and how we can improve the identification of the markers which will enable us diagnosing them, but then also identifying disease-modifying protein-targeting uh, drugs. The most impressive thing about artificial intelligence is finding subtle signals that humans can't find or it takes too long for us to find. We came up with this algorithm called SUSTAIN for short, or subtype and stage inference. The aim of the algorithm is really to identify these subtypes and how they evolve over time. There are two main ways that algorithms like SUSTAIN can be clinically relevant. The first is by identifying the earliest changes of disease and how those vary between different individuals. The other way is by allowing us to give more personalised predictions of how someone's disease will evolve. It's kind of like trying to piece together a full movie from a whole bunch of frames, but there's gaps, and the modelling fills those gaps to work out what the trajectory is. We have a project of Sustain on a local memory clinic uh, in Essex, where we're working with the radiologists there who read the brain scans and, and help with the diagnoses of these different dementias. And we're providing them with additional information that comes from the subtypes and the stages that we have in Sustain. And this is helping them to make faster and more precise decisions. The main topic of our research is to understand how the brain age and how when the brain age it becomes susceptible to develop Alzheimer's disease. So we want to understand why is that cell but not this neighbor actually affected by the disease process. And the reality is now, especially with the new AI tools, we can go much faster. We started to work with Future House. Their main expertise is to essentially develop an AI tool for science we are approaching kind of an actual AI scientist. We can actually provide data to an AI scientist, an AI agent, and it will churn the data, provide results, but then it can go further. We actually got the first result from an AI scientist that prompted us to do an experiment that we didn't plan to do. I think in five years, the way that we do science will be fundamentally different. Those tools are going to impact society by making research faster. UCL has a long-standing tradition on embracing novel technologies and also taking these novel technologies into both research and clinical practice. UCL is probably the birthplace of clinical neurology. I'm part of the UK Dementia Research Institute, but then we interact with clinical fellows at, at Queen Square as well as the Queen Square Brain Bank. And that is an absolutely unique environment for us to work on dementia.